let's get to the headlining topic of the show in a way, which is, man, David Diamante spilling the beans in a way and letting us know that Don White is coming back and coming back rather soon. Yeah, sure. We're doing that. The yeah. Next week, we're probably going to be in Spain and Barcelona as Matchroom starts uh, the, 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 the Matchroom Spain. Then we're in Las Vegas for, for Jacobs and Chavez Jr. Um, you'll probably see Dillian White on that card. I mean, look, man. It, Bloody hell, but I hope you're saving your I, air miles, I, David. I, I, um, so it looks like we're going to get <laughs> Dillian White on the undercard of Chavez Jacobs. Let me just play that back in. So, you know, maybe, maybe people didn't hear it right. Yeah, sure. We're doing that. The yeah. next week, we're probably going to be in Spain and Barcelona as Matchroom starts uh, the, 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 the Matchroom Spain. Then we're in Las Vegas for, for Jacobs and Chavez Jr. Um, you'll probably see Dillian White on that card. I mean, Yep, so Dillian White probably, per David Diamante, the MC of DAZN and Matchroom, uh, that we're probably, air quotes, or quote, actually not air quotes, quote from David Diamante, we're probably going to get Dylan White on the undercard of Daniel Jacobs versus Julio Cesar Chavez in Vegas, December 20th, on the zone. Now, um, I don't... Look, I have several thoughts about this. One, if... If the UCAD process was transparent and we knew that, let's say... It was X, Y, and Z in Dylan White's case that excuses this analytical finding or adverse analytical finding. I think most of us that are logical people would understand that, right? But because there is zero transparency uh, between UCAD, Dylan White, that process, and the consumers in a way, and I think that transparency is important. I know some people don't care about that, but I value it. I think it's rather important. And if if that was the case, and let's say what in a week or so, I think is the when they're supposed to have a finalization of this, right? It's supposed to be the end of October, I believe. Then when we get that news next week, I don't why cleared of all uh, charges, maybe retroactive suspension, whatever it may be, and he is good to fight on December. Uh, I don't. I don't think we would care, to be honest. All right, I think the people that would care would get over it rather fast, and those that really would hate on it are always going to hate on it because of bias, right? That's just how it is. However, because there's a lack of transparency here, because we don't know the process, because we don't know what X, Y, and Z is in Dylan White's favor to excuse him of this adverse analytical finding, how can we? really support the idea or the promotion of Dylan White before we find out anything. I know that's not what this is yet because I don't think David Diamante was out there trying to promote Dylan White and that was the rollout. Like, I don't think this was a planned thing, obviously, for Matchroom or Zone. I think that's just David Diamante speaking here. Maybe I've turned, but it doesn't matter. Whatever it may be, the way they sort of roll out Dylan White's comeback it's going to be really important. You know, which one's, what's going to be the cart, which, what, what's going to be the horse, you know, what's going to be the egg, what's going to be the chicken. There's going to be a lot of important things here about what comes first because consumers remember. And consumers, I think, when they're, when they're feeling like they're being lied to or they're feeling like the, the system is rigged in some fashion and whenever a system is just non-transparent, it automatically looks like that regardless of the intent just being honest that's how humans are just wired in my opinion um unless you sort of resolve that in some fashion you can't promote a dylan white fight or i should say you can't promote it successfully you know canelo went through due process that we all found out we all you know i won't even say i got a video of have the nevada state athletic commission i could be wrong about the video part but I want to say we did. I want to say we, got, we had a far more transparency when it came to the process of Canelo Alvarez. And plus, we knew far more about the, the far more details about the case just off rip because that information was more public to us. And Dylan White's case, separate of the name Dylan White, 
is just a prime example of the issues of the UCAD system and the British Box Border Control System. This idea of of non-transparency, this almost philosophy of it in a way, is detrimental to the fighters themselves, the sport, and the consumers. And that's way too many groups to be detrimental to in terms of a process. Let's just be honest about it. Um, moving on, though. 